everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is the fall theme again. So we're going to continue that on for the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to inspire you to use your oranges and yellows and all those beautiful fall colors. So this week's project is this little cart. And uh, it actually requires several sets. Um, you don't have to use all of them, but uh, it's just kind of up to you. So we're gonna start out with the cart and it comes in a set called the flower cart. So we're just gonna use this image from here. We're also going to use the pumpkins. This is uh, project series three, set one, and it includes all of these images in here. These would all be super cute with fall, but we're gonna use the pumpkins this time. Uh, in this set, we're gonna use this little cactus and actually it works really well as a stalk of wheat. So we're gonna use that in the image. Uh, in this new one, uh, this is the new covered bridge set, and I love these little leaves right here, but they also work really great as filler flowers. So I'm going to show you how to use those as filler flowers today. So we're going to use that one. And then in addition, our flowers and foliage set, we're going to use these, our uh, little wildflowers, and then our grasses and the vine. So we're going to use the tall grass and the vine, these two. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start out by stamping the main image. So that would be the cart, and we want it old and rustic. So we're gonna start out with the sepia. We're just gonna ink it all up with the sepia. Just get that whole thing inked up here and stamp it right in the middle of your, your paper. So right about here will work just great. So first step is always stamp it and pull the color out of the line. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna get our brush wet and we're just gonna pull this color out. Just drag it out. Remember, don't cross over the lines. Don't cross over those horizontal lines. Stay within the lines and drag that color over to the center. We wanna show that the cart is three-dimensional. So we wanna make sure we don't add any color here. So just go ahead and pull the color out of the wheels and under here. And we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so let's add our little pumpkins to the cart. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to uh, put a mask over it. So I just stamped the majority of the cart right here. I really only need this section. So I'm just gonna cover it like that and use my positioner. So I've stamped the pumpkins, placed my little plexiglass into the T-square like that and stamp the pumpkins in the corner. So just like this. And now I can position those exactly where I want them. So I'm gonna put them in the cart, right about there, a little bit in the middle. So let's ink this up. And we're just gonna use the, um, let's go ahead and ink this up first. So I'm just using an orange, any orange. You can use a terracotta. Uh, you can use an orange, it doesn't really matter. These are small, so the color isn't really that critical. Uh, just be sure that when you're doing the stem, you're using the sepia. These stems are pretty dark, so make sure you get enough color on there. Okay, so now let's place our pumpkins where we want them. So right about here, place our T-square back there, and then stamp our pumpkins right inside the cart. Okay, just like that. So let's pull the color out of these lines. Start with the lightest area. This too, you don't wanna drag your brush across these lines. You wanna stay inside the lines. Just stay inside the lines, pull that color out and then leave that white area in between. You wanna show that these pumpkins are rounded and as soon as you drag your brush across all these lines, you're gonna lose that, um, the roundness of the pumpkins, just like a rounded container. So you wanna make sure that you, you show that. So let's add a little more color to these now, and we're gonna do that from the palette. So let's add a little orange and a little ochre. And just dip your brush, take a little bit of this color, and when you're applying the color too, you wanna to stay inside the lines. So add a little bit to this section and then this section. And you can see that the pumpkin sort of retains its um, its integrity here at the image. 
Don't be afraid to leave those white areas. That's perfectly fine. In fact, it looks way better than to color it all in solid. Okay, so let's add a little yellow here. We can always come back and add a little more color to it too. But so far, uh, let's just quit right here and we'll see how it all comes together at the end. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. So we're gonna add our little flowers in here and we're gonna use something bright, like a bright red. And we're just gonna ink these all up. Even in fall, the colors are still, there's still a lot of flowers blooming. So we can for sure show that. Remember, you're gonna walk this in a circle. Put a few more out here. And then add some water to that. Just dab. You're just kind of softening the lines. It's okay if you stamped over the pumpkin like I did. Perfectly fine. Just blend. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's move on to the next step here. Let's change color so we want to kind of clean this off. Let's clean this image off here. This is how I do it, but you you can clean it with a damp cloth too. I'm just always in a hurry. So let's add a little of this yellow in here. And down under here. And then add our water. So just stamping, adding water. And getting all this really pretty color in here. If you really like that soft look, you can just keep blending. You can blend out all these white areas. It's okay. Sort of, um, the more that you do this, you sort of develop your own style. And some people like those white, you know, a lot of white spots. Other people like it to be really faded out. Okay, so let's move on now. Let's put our grasses in at the bottom. So we're just gonna ink these now and walk this over. Just like that. Pull that color up and out. Super easy. The thing about this grass is that it's in everything. So after a few of these projects, like you really get how to stamp this. Remember to walk it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's gonna look natural. Okay, so let's use that little tiny leaf. This one right here, I just love this little guy. It's becoming my new favorite. So I'm gonna ink it in the red too. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda jump it around. So we're just gonna jump it around. So you don't have to go in a circle with this one, but you still wanna ink it a bunch of times. Super cute. Just gives you a little different uh, image. You don't need a lot of water with this one at all because these little uh, lines are so tiny. So just soften the lines, they're so cute. Okay, we are actually almost finished. Let's add some vines now and let's add our wheat stalks. So let's put the wheat in. Actually, this is the cactus, but we can call it the wheat for this project. So we're gonna ink it and we're gonna stamp it a bunch of times. So one, two, three, and again. One, two, three, four, and let's just put a few more in here. Add some water to it. Just a little bit. This is a really light color too, so it doesn't, doesn't take a lot to blend this color. Remember you're softening the lines. So even though the images got tiny little lines, don't just make a big round oval shape with this. Just Touch the lines. Okay, let's add our foliage in here. 
So we're gonna use a brown on this, so not the green. And we're just gonna use this more like, a, um, like an accent stamp. So we're just gonna kinda put it here and there. So maybe one here. And let's put one in here. So you can see with an accent stamp, you don't need that um, lush foliage in the background. You just want it to kind of pop out here and there. Looks pretty good. And we just need to touch these little leaves. When it's an accent like this, you don't want to blend it too much. Just soften the little leaves. It just pops that color out a ton. I just love all these fall colors, so fun. It's fun to mix it up. And it's amazing how these images look different when you just change out the colors. You know, you go from the bright, bright um, um, summer colors, spring colors to these fall colors. It just changes the image so much. Okay, so now we have to decide if we wanna leave the, uh, the cart this way or if we wanna put a little color on it. So if we do, we're gonna do that from the palette. And it's, it's good either way. You can add color to it or you can leave it alone, up to you. And if you're gonna add color to it, add a bunch of colors. I just think that really um, adds a lot of interest to your image. So add a little orange in here, a little brown. So I'm using all the colors that I just used from my palette. This is when you can go back on here, add a little more color to the pumpkins. You can see how that just makes that even brighter. Keep that color uh, where these rounded areas are. So leave these white spots, leave those lines alone. You can come back in now with your um, fine tip and really get these areas that should be dark. See back in here where this handle is, that's gonna really pop that up. Underneath here where the legs are, when we add a lot of color like this, it's really good to go back in and add these dark spots because it's gonna really make that look more three-dimensional. You can color these spokes in, make sure they're really dark. You could also add a little more detail in here like this. Make this really rustic. Like so, all up to you. The more that you do it, the braver you're gonna get, I promise. So fun. And there we go, one last thing to do, and that is to sign and date. Put it on a card, put it in a frame, give it away and make someone's day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.